CDs at $1,000 than when they were selling with $10,000 because they're selling more of them. And that's what counts for profitability. You know, it, 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 it's, you, know you can multiply it uh, with volume. So the, the, the argument that governments need to protect us from falling prices, that we need inflation, is all nonsense. It's all self-serving. The government needs inflation, not, not us. And the reason the government needs inflation is because that means they can play Santa Claus. That means they can print money and spend it. That means they don't have to tax us for all the government programs. They can pretend that there's no cost. And the government has a lot of debt. The government wants to wipe out its debt. So the government wants inflation, and it finds a way to justify it so it can cram it down our throats. So I was just hoping maybe you could give some advice to the people in this room who care about their you know, finances looking forward. Where would you put your money if you had a horizon? You mentioned precious metals. We know gold is anti-inflationary and tips maybe in bonds. But any suggestions you know, for the people in this room and say, where can I put my money so that it's not just sitting in a... In a yeah, if you, if you want to make more traditional investments, I think you know, foreign stocks are the best place to go. I think valuations and many stocks around the world are extremely low right now. I mean, not here in America, but in other parts of the world. Uh, you can buy assets really at fire sale prices. You can get tremendous dividend yields. I think you really want to invest for the future and look at what's happening right now is really a changing of the economic guard. I think, you know, the Asian economies, uh, you know, China in particular, this is the future. This is where all the productivity is. This is where everything is being made. This is where all the surpluses are being accumulated. This area of the world is going to grow, and there's going to be a major transition of wealth and purchasing power away from America to, to the Asian economies. And it's, it's going to happen from a realignment of exchange rates and, and, a, and a reevaluation of assets. And you want to position your personal investments to be on the, on the winning you know, end of that transformation. So you can, you, there are plenty of great stocks you can buy in Singapore, you can buy in Hong Kong, you can buy in Japan that really feed into the Chinese economy that are going to benefit from the added wealth and added purchasing power of the Chinese as they go more from exporting their production to consuming their production themselves and trading more with nations that can actually afford to buy their products instead of countries where they have to lend them the money. And to the extent that the Chinese keep more of their savings themselves, they have more savings to invest productively. They can build even more factories. They can be even more productive. When they take their savings and just give them to us and we squander it on consumption, it's not doing them any good. So you want to be in a position that, you're, that your investments will reflect that and that you can benefit from that. And on the precious metal side? Yeah, you just want to buy. Like, I think silver look really, looks really good here. It's around $13, $14 an ounce. You know, it got as high as $20 an ounce last year. I think it's going a lot higher. Gold, I mean, once gold breaks through 1000 I think it's going a lot higher. And, you know, when the Chinese or the Russians are talking about trying to find an alternative to the dollar, they're talking about maybe using these special drawing rights from the IMF. That's not going to fly. That's not going to help. Ultimately, the, the real solution is gold. And that's ultimately what's going to happen. I mean, the only reason that the dollar is the reserve currency was because when it became the reserve currency, not only was it backed by gold, but it was redeemable in gold on demand. If it wasn't for that feature, it never would have been accepted as the reserve currency. The reason currencies have reserves is so they have value. You have to back your currency with something. Backing it by the dollar is like backing it with nothing because there's nothing backing the dollar. So I think what's going to happen is the world's going to realize the real fault of the problems and the reason we have all these in imbalances is because we have no money. We're on this phony system, this phony fiat system that doesn't work that creates the imbalances, that creates the booms and busts. We need real money. We need to depoliticize money, and we need gold. And I think that's going to happen. And when nations start to reaccumulate gold, when central banks become buyers of gold and not sellers of gold, prices are going to go way up. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Schiff. We appreciate it. Sure.